Force 4 sections of our boys, Varsity 800, 2 rated, and 2 CX. So we've expanded uh, the number of heats for our evening session here at the Meet of Champions in 2023. And we are moments away from kicking that off. 800 meters, we got boys with sub two minute aspirations on the track right now. So we'll see if they get after it. Maybe hit a 27, 28 that first 200 and just keep it rolling. Our top seeds here, Castaneda, ninth grader out of Oak Park, Cephas, 10th grader out of Norco, Ward Oz, 10th grader out of Bonita, King, 10th grader of Alta Loma, and McNamara, 10th grader out of Tesoro. And here we go, our boys, seeded section of the Frostoff, 800 meters. And our top seed coming in is 202. Ninth and 10th graders galore. This is the first of two heats here in this Frost Soft 800. And not waiting around here. They're going to come through the 200 meter mark right there at, as advertised, 28 7. 28 7 there. That's going to be Rodriguez of Redlands East Valley out very quick with Safus, a 10th grader at a Norco in the all blue on your inside, currently in second. Reyes of Downey High School also in that top group. On your outside there, that's Mejia of Etiwanda, and they're doing exactly what they need to be doing here. Coming through in 60.1, Castaneda, the ninth grader from Oak Park, right up front with Safest. So hits number one and two, living up to the seedings here as we come through with 300 meters to go. That is Safest, our 10th grader out of Norco, your leader at 116. And it looks like our young man from Etiwanda, Ethan Bahia, now moving into the race for Castaneda. 132, 132, Kian Castaneda, your ninth grader, trying to hold off the majority of this group being 10th graders. And Castaneda, he came in as your number one seed and trying to bring this one home, but everybody else trying to close ranks here. Rip 50 yards to go. That is Mahia of Etiwanda, but he's going to run out of real estate. And your winner, Castaneda, at 201.50. Castaneda 201.72, Mejia 202.36, Guerrero of Downey 203.34. That was just the seated section. Up next now, our invitational portion of the boys for our soft 800. Your top seed here, Ty Newman, the 10th grader out of Canyon High School, 159 on his resume, coming off a sub-421 effort a week ago. Matthew Albert, the 10th grader from Agora, also right there as well. So we are ready to go. That is Newman, our 10th grader from Canyon at Anaheim Hills. Brandon of Dos Pueblos and Burnett of Jay Sarah, also in that front group, coming through the 200. Gardner of Homestead right there in the green and white top right there behind Newman. But Newman not waiting for anybody to join him. He's going to bring us through the first 300 here at 43. Newman, Brennan, Gardner, 57, 57 on that opening lap by Guy Newman. And again, he's got the endurance. He went 420.8 a week ago in the 16 in one of the state's top 1600 meter sophomores. 
Lasso of Etiwanda starting to move up there, but right now it is Newman and now Gardner out of Homestead making a move. Let's go, TA! I love you, TA! Let's go, TA! I love you! you Newman guys. coming through, 128, 128. And that's Dunn, Michael Dunn, the sophomore from Norco now making some moves from behind the scenes. But do they have enough to catch Newman? It is Newman and Gardner, Canyon of Anaheim, Homestead. And Gardner of Homestead. Evan, the 10th grader, he's gonna bring this one home just ahead of Newman and Albert. Gardner, 157.68, that is now number two in heat history for Frost Soft, 800 meters. Newman, 158.47, that's gonna move him up to number seven in meet history. And Albert, 158.78, that is gonna move him up to number eight in meet history. section of the girls varsity of the girls 800 meters four sections all together your top seed coming into the action here miller of great oak bravo of citrus valley bulmer of claremont First 200 meters of this rated section of the 800. So that is Elsa Steer out of Pacific Ridge, Isabella Bravo of Citrus Valley, and Zana Hardin of Tesoro. And Bravo of Citrus Valley bringing them through right now. That is Hardin of Tesoro and Lewis of Lucerna, and they come through at 70, 70.3. Isabella Bravo, the 10th grader, coming off a great cross country season for Citrus Valley. And Lewis of Lucerna, Lewis of Lucerna moving into an action. also in the mix there. And Isa Bulmer, the ninth grader out of Claremont emerging out of that group and looking to bring this one home, taking a look over her shoulder and she is all gonna go. This is all the freshmen from Claremont. Negative splitting indeed there, came through at 71. She comes back with a 68 and a 219 victory there, 219.65. Andrzejczyk at the Bay School of San Francisco, 221.75, and Dayton Creedy of West Torrance, 222.25. Bravo coming across, 222.28. And here we go, our next rated section of the girls 800. The Mendibles of Sanger, 219. Davis of Santiago, 220. Amaskua, Don Lugo, 220. Taylor Davis and Wykovage of San Diego High School, the two ninth graders. 
And Santiago of Norco in that top three. So a big eight matchup here between Santiago and Norco early on here in this rated section of the 800 meters. So our two ninth graders made a big difference this last cross country season. Davis and White Garage and Breidbach of West Ranch coming in there as well. And right there, Mendibles of Sanger running fourth right now. But our two ninth graders from Santiago High School charging up the pace here for the first 500 meters, coming through 130. But Mendibles, great resume to her name. She's on the outside there from Sanger and on your inside. That's Breitbach of West Ranch. So it's everybody, anybody's race here with 200 to go. They're at 149. Yeah, I see. That's Sunny, so hurry up. And Waikavaj and Davis trying to shake this group, but nobody backing away here. Last 100 meters, we're at 209, 210. And bringing this one home there, Lexi Sharpman of Emmanuel. She sat back, let everybody else do the work, and she's going to bring home the victory here at 220 plus. 220.30. Waikavaj, 220.95. And Breitbach a 221.80, Davis a 222.23, and Mendibles 223.29. So we now move into our seated section of the girls 800. Our top seed here, Anua Carey, the junior out of Laguna Beach, has gone 216. Taylor DeBarros of Canyon out of Anaheim has gone 217. And Paige Shear of Dana Hills has gone 218. So several of these girls with 215 aspirations for sure here as they're getting after it here in this seated section of the girls' 800. Looks like Milani Castillo of Rain Oak taking them through here at 32 plus, 32 plus there for that first 200. Johnson, the 10th grader from Chase Sarah, also in that front group as well. But right now, Castillo doing the pacing chores. There's the first 350 of this girl seated 800. Sheer on the inside. A lot of jostling going on. You got a Sponda of South Torrance, and now Kraus moving into the lead, but DeBoros on the outside right there on her shoulder. And Johnson kind of tucked in right there for Chase Sarah in third. So it is Kraus of Great Oak, DeBoros of Canyon. Elric of Ayala uh, now moving into third. Sheer of Dana Hills also in the top five. Kaylee Krause put a surge in at the curve here to get into this three, but DeBoros, he's gone 217 -07. Krause and DeBoros and everybody else. Oh my God, Perry Poole, Perry Poole. And that's Butterfield from Beaumont. She's got 218.02. Yeah. Oh, you And Crummel of Bay School. So Butterfield trying to hold on here. Crummel from Bay School of San Francisco. Sheer of Dana Hills also in there. Esponda of South Torrance. Oh my, 218 plus. Sheer, 218.05, Butterfield, 218.35, Esponda, 218.44, Crummel, 219.39, and Reinhold, the freshman from Rancho Cucamonga, under 220, and Kraus, 220.19, just ahead of DeBarros at 220.31, but you'll win it there, Paige Shear of Dana Hills, 218.05.
Shutter's here, good. Okay. Chin is here, Vasquez. No, I don't, I don't, I don't have either, but it's okay. 13, that's Holloway. That is Robar. That is Samson, the freshman. Jennerette, Snodgrass, Bicender. All right, here's what some of you guys showed up for. The girls varsity invitational section of the 800 meters. Hillary Studdard, the senior out of Palo Alto. She's gone under 211, as has Anastasia Snodgrass, a senior out of J. Sarah. Georgia Jennerette of J. Sarah coming off a 211.91, currently number four in California. Keaton Robar, huge performance two weeks ago, 214, currently number nine in California. There, Samson, our top ninth grader in California, has gone 215.55. Nyberg, Clovis East, has gone under 216, as has Vasquez of Barstow. Sophia Beisinger, Beisinger, she's coming off a 213 effort, currently number six in California, and they are getting after it as Holloway of Vista Marietta now merging into the inside. But Jennerette, the junior out of Jay Sarah, moving right past her in his first 150. And Stuttered right on her outside. Stuttered and Beisinger also in that mix. But Jennerette, she has gone 211.91 here in 2023. And Stuttered, who's gone 210.41 lifetime. So Jennerette, she likes to run from the front, and as you saw the sound running in by, she held on and ran away with the victory. But right there, Bicinger, right over her shoulder with Stuttert and Samson and Vasquez, 63-3. 63-3 on your opening lap here. That is Jennerette the junior. Stuttert of Palo Alto not letting her go. Bicinger trying to answer. Vasquez of Barstow. Snodgrass of James Sarah. And Samson the freshman trying to hang on to those front six there from Webb High School. But Jennerette and Bicinger, these two are now trying to run, run away from everybody else. Snodgrass now with a great move on the back stretch, and she now looks to move into third place, just ahead of Stuttered. Jennerette yeah. and Stuttered. Jennerette looking strong here, coming off several 58 second outings recently in the 400 meters, but Georgia Jennerette. And now coming down strong here, Snodgrass with a late surge, Jennerette. Now it's Keaton Robar of Newport Harbor. Now with a huge push with Snow Snodgrass in third. And it's going to be an Orange County sweep. One, two, and three there in that girls. 800. Jennerette with a lifetime best of 210.40. Robar continues to keep improving. She was 217 a year ago. She's now 210.82. Snodgrass, 211.55. Bicenter, another PR there, 212.27. And Vasquez, 212.61. One, nothing but personal best all across the way. Number five and number six in the country for Jennerette and Robar. Robar only a sophomore. And Snodgrass, that's number 11 in the nation. So that was the number five time in meet history there by Georgia Jennerette. So number five and six in the country, number two in California.
The boys rated. This is our 800 meters, our top seed here. Sarah Casano of Agora, he's gone 158.27, lifetime best. Tranquila of Venice, only a sophomore, he's already gone 159. Kiros of Cajon has gone 159. Inside there, Ramos of Lucerna, Miller of Dana Hills out well here for the first 100 as they come into the merge. And it looks like Adrian Ramos is going to get after it here for the first 150. You guys are fucking my son! Ramos of Lucerna. Ariola of Jay Sarah. And Miller of Dana Hills, your top three, coming through the first 300 here at 45, a little up north of 45. The Lagoon boys to pick it up a little bit here if they want to go under two flats. But it is Ramos and Ariola, Miller and Elias of Santiago currently running fourth. Ramos and Ariana. Ariola, Marbet, and Kiros right there in that mix as well. And Chavez and Meridian herself also in the top five. Seven, four, seven, four, five. And Chavez and Madera South moving into the lead. Kiros of Cajon, Ramos of Lacerda. And Sarah Susano of Agora now moving into the mix. And Kiros trying to bring this one home. He has gone 159.30. We're going to see a big improvement over that. And he's going to bring home the victory here. The senior out of Cajon, Vicente Kiros, 157.49. Isaac Chavez of Madeira South, 157.96. Sarah Casano, 158.08 from Agora. And Dean from Providence coming up big there at the end, 158.32 to nudge just ahead of Ramos at 158.39. The top five all under 159. And that is just the first of four sections here in this boys' 800 meters. All right, our top seeds here, Kieran, Kieran Murray of South Pasadena has got 155.62. Daniel Hall, Bakersfield, 165.35. Lamar Kirk, Long Beach Poly, 156.54. Nike Broughton of Redondo has gone 158. Luke Metcalf of St. Francis at a La Cunada. He has also got under 159. So put on the afterburners here, folks. This may only be the second fastest heat, but we should see some 155, 156 type times here coming out of this rated section. This is your rated race here in the boys 800 and that is Lamar Kirk not waiting around and getting after it here challenging everybody in this early going there. Murray of South Pasadena giving chase but right now Lamar Kirk he is late going kind to of send a message here to the rest of the field that he is going to try to break 155 here and now it looks like Broughton of Redondo now matching up with Daniel Hall of Bakersfield. Hill 
Battle of Lucerna also right there as well. Our young man from Liberty High School, Juarez, moving up. But Kirk is going to take us through 55-3. 55-3. And this is only our rated section. we got two more after this. And look at the sophomore from Liberty, Juarez, not backing down from Kirk's early pace whatsoever. you got Murray now of South Pasadena that is hawking both of them. V Hill of Lucerna right there running forward. Jacob of Agora right now running fifth. But here comes Murray. Murray came into the top seed and now he moves into the no. Kirk matches back. Lamar Kirk and Murray. Just when Murray was making a move going into that last curve, Lamar Kirk responded and now looking to move away from the rest of the group. We're at 144, 145. And Juarez of Liberty, only a sophomore, but Kirk is going to run away with this one. 153, 154. Oh, Kirk, 153, 15. Juarez, 153, 43. Murray, 153.99. Vigil, 154.46. Hall, 154.85. Five under 155. And Lamar Kirk moves up to number six in the country, number two in California. And we still got two races to go. Juarez, Juarez moving up to number five in California, number one sophomore in California. And Juarez now moves up to number 12 in the country in the 800. But rumor has it we still got two heats to go. And after they, if that doesn't motivate them to run under 153, I don't know what else will because this next seed, you guys, we have some 154 boys already entered. Dylan Deliola, he went 153.90 a year ago at this meet. You got Alex Nehu coming off a 155 effort a week ago at Laguna Beach. Ryder Want, he's gone under 157. Carter Oaks, the junior out of Homestead, has got under 157. And Divinity and Karathi of Chad and Shaw Thomas of Chadwick. Oh my god, it's Sarah Dubelli. So with two races to go, we've already had sub-154, and that is Nehu of Palos Verdes, the junior, moving straight to the lead here, coming off a 155-32 at Laguna Beach a week ago. Meanwhile, Nehu, he's got a lifetime best of 153.90. He's right there in his shadow. And Michael Rodriguez on the outside there from Great Oak. Nehu, Rodriguez, and De Leola, Divinity up there as well. That's awesome, Gordon of Etiwanda. And here we go, folks, 55-5. So just a little off the pace what we saw in the earlier race. But Nehu now picking it up a notch here. And De Leola and Rodriguez looking to answer. Alex Nehu, one of the more improved juniors in California, cross country and now in the track season. Daliola and Rodriguez. Come on, Nehu. Be a PD legend right here. Come on. Come on, Adam. There we go. The clock at 136, 138. Nehu and Daliola. And everybody else trying to close ranks here with 50 meters ago. Nehu, De Leola, but on your outside, it's going to be, that's the Gordon McNaught of Bakersfield coming up strong there. 
So Nato continues to improve, 154.72. McKnight, 154.99. De Leola, 155.16. Divinity, great closer there, 156.17. And Ryder, 156.19. Michael Rodriguez, 156.38. Oh, yeah, Alex Nehu, your winner there of the seated section, 154.72. And here we go, folks. And they're not already strapped with the seatbelts on. The boys, varsity, the invitational, 800 meters. Go ahead. All right, we got Johnson, the Vista Marietta, sub 157. Berkeley, Adon Lugo. Mateo Allen Aguirre, the 10th grader out of Portola. Number one sophomore, well, he was number one. Cadillo of Clovis with sub-155 credentials. Shane Alchi, the senior out of Jay Sarah. Zy Ricks of Long Beach Poly. He's coming off a 153-91 effort. Harrison Lavery, he's gone 154-40 this year. Gabriel Rodriguez, the Masters Meet qualifier a year ago. The junior from Great Oak has gone 154-19. Santiago Orozco of Cathedral. Noah Ray of Buchanan. Abadai Leggins of Cathedral is gone 158-23-38. And of course, Aaron Salmon, the senior, out of Newbury Park, 148-91 lifetime best. before this race starts. If we can get everybody on the rail to sit down. Please kneel down. Thank you, guys. Sorry. Salmon, Ligans, Ray, Orozco, Rodriguez, Lavery, Ricks. Let's see how this all unfolds. Salmon, he went 52-1 a couple weeks back when he went 150, and Ricks is up for the challenge. Ricks coming in with 47, 74, 400 meter speed, and of course Salmon with 403, 1600 meter endurance. Rodriguez matching up right there in third, but right. Noah Ray moving up into third. Salmon and Ricks, 25 at the first 200. They are not playing around, trying to go under 150 here. You saw Aaron Salmon a year ago. He matched up with his brother almost every step of the way. And he's trying to do this here with Ricks, Ray, Rodriguez, Ligon, and Joggin. 51-8, 51-8 on that opening 400. And Salmon puts it into yet another gear. <laughs> he is challenging a very talented field, folks. Perhaps the most talented field in the nation thus far. And Salmon continuing to gain on his lead. Ricks and Ray, Leggins, and that is Rodriguez in fifth. And in sixth is Johnson and Vista Marietta. 119 with 200 to go. Salmon has put it all but here comes Ricks. Ricks is starting to reel him in with 100 meters to go. It is Ricks and Salmon. The show you came here to show, the right for Cy Ricks. You saw what he did the 600 meters earlier this year. Oh my folks, 149. Number one in the United States of America. 149.19. Salmon, it will say number two in the country, 150.86. Taryn Johnson of Vista Marietta, a six-second improvement, 150.93. Top four in the country. Top six times in the country. So the national list has just been rewritten here in the last one minute and 52 seconds, folks, okay? Ricks, Salmon, Johnson, Ligons, Rodriguez, and Ray, all sub 152, but the man of the hour, Zy Ricks, come and bring home 149.19, and he's only a junior. Number three all time in the meet, and one of the fastest times in California. 
also the third pass is six. So in addition to me, obviously, the fastest six times in the country, obviously the fastest six times in the state this year, outstanding boys, 800, number three all-time on our meet of champions list there, going under 150. Now we'll move to the 1600s, and we'll start with the Frost Soft boys. We'll go Frost Soft rated, seated, and then our invitational race. Then we'll go to the girls, and we have such an outstanding field in the girls 1600 that we have four heats tonight. We'll go rated two, rated one, and then our seated girls race is such a strong field that we will run the full mile in our girls seated race along with the full mile in our invitational race. When we say the full mile, they'll start nine meters back and they'll get timed at both 1600 and the mile. So both our seated girls varsity and our invitational girls race will both get that 1600 and mile split tonight. Our first race though of the 1600s will be the boys of Rossoff of a field of 22. It took a time of right around 440 to get in this rated race here. And a very fine meet record by Richie Soto of Marina. Did that in 2011, 418 is our frost soft record. So our boys are just about ready to go. We're trying to stay right on schedule so we don't interfere with anybody's warm-ups along the way. In this field, we've got Rubicaba of Santiago, Shanberg of Redondo, Ariaga of El Toro, Lynn of Agura, Barbary of Redondo, Kaplan of Miracosta, Watson of Newberry Park, Dean of Ziegler of Summit, Modell of West Ranch, Manning of Tesoro, Heyman of Miracosta, Jalamo of Loyola, Audette of Bishop Vermont, Martin of St. Francis, Guzman of St. Francis, Wessels of Torrance, Benegas of Loyola, Razo of Ayala, Thomas from Redondo, Medeiros from Claremont, Duenas from West Ranch, and Rivera of Torrent.
Austin Winez of West Ranch taking us out early. Thirty-one through the first two hundred for our Frost Off boys. Duenas <laughs> and Bodell. Thomas of Redondo there on the inside. That is Josh Thomas on the inside right at his shoulder. Jake Rubacaba right at 66 for the first 400. Jake Rubacaba, the sophomore from Santiago, taking the lead at 500 meters. An obvious crowd favorite. One forty at 600 meters. Rubacaba still our leader. And moving up well there, that's Aiden Bodell, just a freshman from West Ranch, in with the big boys. Everybody's still in it, so here we go. Bodell and Rubacaba. Moving up well now, coming on the outside, JT Kaplan of Miracosta, 217. Just a little bit over 70 on that second lap. Aiden Bodell still our leader. Kaplan now in the green and gold of Miracosta. up there with Kaplan and Bodell. 34 on that 200 to 1K. So we are setting ourselves up for a great last lap. Everybody's still in it. And our boys rush off a rated 1600. Uh, Bodell, Kaplan, Ariaga now moving up well. From El Toro, he moves up on the inside. We go by at 326 with a lap to go. 69.9 on that third lap. And down the back stretch, Bodell and Ariaga. Bodell and Ariaga and Watson now, Newberry Park. Aiden Bodell running well here, coming down the home stretch. And moving up, Ariaga and Watson now. Watson of Newberry Park closing in on West Ranch. Watson, oh my! Oh, the winner is Watson of Newberry Park. 
Bodell is second, Ariaga is third. Our second fastest team, our fastest race of the evening for Frost Off Boys. Scheduled to go off in just about two minutes here. So we're going to get ready to go and fire the gun. Here we go. Frost Off. Frost Off seated. Here we go. Cueto, Salinas, Blake, Tofander, Yoder, Felix, Salinas, Castaneda, Olmi, Pavan. Garcia, McNamara, Rosette, Lim, Sandoval, We, and Castillo. Alright, what do we got? Topangar of Hart is our early leader. 30 in the first 200. Our youngsters going out well here. And Salinas, Tofandar, and Cueto. That's our top three, but really everybody in it here in our second fastest seated race of the day. Boys Frost Soft 1600. Salinas on the inside, Blake on the outside, and Cueto tucked right in there. 65 for the first 400. Jed Blake of Santiago, Marcus Salinas of Clovis East, and Alejandro Cueto of Hart going down the back stretch. One, two, three. Like Damian Felix of Liberty now moving up into that lead group there, coming up on the outside. And that's moving up in the light blue on the outside. Damian Felix moving up and challenging for the lead with Jet Blake of Santiago. And on their outside shoulder, Cueto Yoder also of Oaks Christian moving up. 216 at 800. That was a 70 on that second lap. So 216 at 800. And down the back stretch, Damian Felix in the light blue there of Liberty. And that's Alejandro Cueto of Hart moving up on the outside. Yoder in there also, and Blake. 600 to go. That is Marcus Salinas. Our lead keeps changing. Here we go, though. Salinas will come in with 500 to go as the leader. Right there from Clovis East. In the green, our leader starting to move a little way. Cueto and Felix, and moving up Yoder down the back stretch. We'll head here as we've got a little bit of a separation. Here we go, Marcus Salinas, 323 at 1200, 67 on that lap. The freshman though trying to take it here, Marcus Salinas of Clovis East. Salinas and Cueto. Salinas on the, in the green on the inside for the freshman. Cueto in the white on the outside, the sophomore. 
And Cueto now starting to move. Alejandro Cueto on Hart. Open it up. Coming down the stretch. Here we go. Cueto and Salinas. One, two. Felix in third. But now moving away. Alejandro Cueto. 425. He's going to go under 430. It's going to be 428. Salinas second. Big finish there from Yoder of Oaks Christian to get third. There we go. And now for our fastest seated race of the evening, this will be the Invitational Boys Rossoff 1600. Off Invitational 1600. Bulalakau of El Toro on the inside. Top seated entry time goes right to the front. Just a shade over 30, just about 31 on that first 200. Cesar Torres of Ayala moving to the early lead. Daniel Bulaco, Bulacau of El Toro in second. Only uh, Yosemite in third, right at 64. That's Bulaco of uh, El Toro, and that's Jack Olney of uh, Yosemite. But our pack bunching up a little bit here. It's like Ian Hansen of Miracosta moving up on the outside. Everybody positioning themselves for the halfway. Torres, our leader, on his outside shoulder. Hansen only on the inside. Bulaco right there, 212. 67 on that second lap. Torres moving well, and Hansen on his outside shoulder, leading that group, only tucked right in there. Bulaco also. There you go. Two 
42 at 1,000 meters. Hansen now moving up and challenging for the lead. Looks like he's ready to take it, put him in position with a lap and a quarter to go. And moving up also Boaz from Summit, Oregon, also moving up well. This is Hansen on the inside, Bullico behind him. And Boaz, Elmi, and moving up Bridal. We're at 3.18 with a lap to go. Hansen, Bullico on his outside shoulder. Bullico now moving into the lead. That's Boaz. Hayden Boaz of Summit, Oregon, moving up well. Boaz moving up on Hanson. Hanson, Boaz, we still got a gang of four really here with 200 to go. Boaz taking the lead. Coming down to back stretch, 100 meters to go. Bulaco trying to come on the outside. Olmi in the inside and the white. Coming on the far outside summit. Coming up early, this is Hansen in the green. Hansen, oh my! Does it happen again? Yes! Hansen's our winner, 421-45. Number four all time in meet history on the Frost Soft. 63-5 on that last lap. Hansen gets the win from the inside. We have two rated and then we go to Great races. Here we go now. We're moving to the girls. All right. Never off the right. Oh, here we go, girls. Rated. We have such a strong field of girls here tonight in the 1600. We usually have just two races at night, the invitational and seated. Sometimes we add a third because the fields are so strong. Tonight we added a fourth of this outstanding set of girls, 1600 meter runners, really in the country here. Four great races, we start with the rated. Number two rated race. like Rosalind Rezzo of Chapey out well in the white top and the orange shorts, our early leader. But just like all these great races here at night, every one of these girls outstanding in all these races and they are running together. We'll come through the first 400. It's Reza on the inside on her outside shoulder. Lee of Santiago inside in the yellow Brocky of Newberry Park. 77 through the first 400. Rosalind Reza of Chafee. Out well. Chafee along with Royal, one of our meet hosts here today. Six 
Residents are leader, Brotke of Newberry Park, running well, moving up. And Kendall Lee of Santiago right in there also. And on the inside, the white with the orange, that is Reza Lee from Santiago on her outside shoulder. Brotke, tall girl in the yellow top, running right there in the inside, right on the rail, but everybody in it. Elena Martinez moving up well also. Clara Riddle of Emmanuel, we're at 236, 236 at 800. 79.5, looks like Brodke's decided it's time to go. Brodke now moving, Reza answering that challenge. Danielle Brodke leading down the back stretch, Sophia Grant. And her teammate, the freshman from Newberry Park, Grant, moving up well. Reza hanging tough right there at 1,000 meters. Danielle Brodke opening it up. And moving up in eight. Clara Riddle of Emmanuel. And now looking very strong, the junior from Newberry Park, Daniel Brodke, picking up the pace. Brodke will come by with at 350 with 400 to go. Grant, her teammate, in second. Riddle and Reza. Reza now moving up on Riddle, and Reza moving back into third. All right, down the back stretch, Brodke and her teammate trying to close a bit. Grant, the freshman, trying to move up on the junior. 200 meters to go when they hit the light pole on the back stretch. And Grant now has moved up with Brodke, the Newberry Tark duo, and now moving into the lead, the freshman. Sophia Grant of Newberry Park coming down to stretch. We're in the home stretch right at 450. Here she comes, Sophia Grant, Rocky, and closing now that next group. Grant's the winner coming home. And moving strong, Stublin of Tribuco Hills. Oh my, right at 510. Okay. Grants our winner at 511.71. Brodke 512.21. Riddle third at 513. As we mentioned, such outstanding runners here today. This is our rated number one race of the night, and then we'll go to our seated and our invitational. So those girls running fast, and this is now the rated number two. We've got Vasquez, Olivia, Lindsay, Elbaz, Brinkman, Johnson, Wang, Gout, Amescua, Espanda, and Mabian.
34 through the first 400. 200. And the gold and black of Don Lugo, Ariana Mescua. She is on the lead on the outside on her inside shoulder. Brinkman of Tribuco Hills moving up well on the outside is Esponda. And on the inside, Vasquez. 74 on that first 400. under five minute pace here. And this is just our rated race. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Very good. And still a mescal on the outside and on the inside Brinkman there going one, two, but everybody in that group we're gonna come around here. We got a shot to be under five minutes with a good third lap here. We're gonna be right at 2.30, which is five minute pace. If we can do that again, we'll go under five. Amaskawa now moving up. Brinkman there, hanging tough. Vasquez now in third. And we are picking up. Here's some girls who want to go under five. This is where we can help when they come by on the back stretch. Let them hear it, because we're going to let them hear it on the home stretch. Three ten with 600 meters to go. Just a shade over five. We've got to be somewhere right around under 350, maybe 347, 348, when we come by to go under five. And Brinkman now pushing that pace. Let him hear it from you, don't wait for the last lap. Get him through the third lap. Here we go. To break five minutes is huge. Brinkman running strong. Elvis from Xavier and Amesqua. We got a shot at it. Here we go. We need a sub-73. Brinkman wants to do it. Here she goes. Brinkman and Elbaz. One, two. Vasquez in the yellow and maroon. Of Barstow moving up. Olivia Kenya trying to move up with Amesco and join that group. Brinkman now still our leader. All right, she needs about a 36 to break five. But looking at the win, Vasquez trying to move up now on Elba. Vasquez moves into second. Brinkman on the white on the inside. Vasquez in the yellow on the outside. Coming down to the last 100 meters. Here we go. Angelina Vasquez coming home. Vasquez and Brinkman and Elbaz. We're going to be just a shade over five. A great race. Vasquez, the winner at 502. Brinkman, Elbaz, Oliva, Amescoa, Espanda. Here we go. 502 23. Brinkman, 503 12. Elbaz, 504 10. Vasquez, after that, after running the 800 just about 45 minutes ago, so a great double. Angelina Vasquez of Barstow, 
winning our rated heat. Now, we're gonna go to two heats of the girls seated and invitational. They will run the full mile distance. All right, so you'll notice our start line will look a little different here. They're gonna be nine meters back from what essentially is the finish line and they'll start on the waterfall start. This will give them, when they finish the race and pass by the waterfall, they will be at 1600 meter time. The finish line will still be the same as it is in all our races, but that will give them a mile time. So they will have an official 1600 time today and an official mile time. That's because these girls are good enough to rate in the country in our list of top milers. And so here we go. Santiago taking the lead right behind her Callanan from Peninsula. Arrington of South Pass moving up well. These girls are going to go out. Blade in the back. She's run 10.38 just the last week for 3,200 meters. And Arcadia Callanan in the black and yellow stripes running right there in second for the first 200. Good job, Carolyn. Good job. Way to go. Find the way. Way to go. Isaac, your HG runner is famous. All right, it may be a little cold. If you put your hands together, make a little noise, you'll get warmer. They'll get faster. Here we go. Blade on the inside, Callanan on the outside. You see the cones, those are so we can do mile splits. And Arrington, and moving up well, Packers. So we are right at 72 for 440 yards. 72, Callanan moving to the lead, Blade, Arrington. Annalise Packard running well from Jay Sarah. And round out top five, Grace Geyer of Oaks Christian. Down to backstretch. Blade and Kellanen changing off with the lead. Blade now moving up on her outside shoulder. 149 at 600. That's under five minute pace. We'll, we'll do well on that list. <laughs> All right, Callanan coming down to stretch. Blade on her outside shoulder. And Packard tucked in there in third. Arrington in fourth and moving up well. Geyer in five. Joining our group, Matarese of La Cunada. 227. That would be 456. No one in the country has broken five for the mile yet this year. So we are on national leading pace. Callanan, outstanding race, moving well. Blade right there where she's been the whole time. Packard and Geyer. I got it, go! 
And Caitlin Mattery's uh, blocking Yada now moving up into fifth. But our big four here. Oh my, who's gonna be the new national leader? Callinan on the inside, Blade on the outside. Packard on the inside in third and on her outside shoulder, Geyer. Four girls right there. Here we go. They gotta be under 345 to be under five minute pace. Under 345, we are 342. Callinan, Blade, Geyer, and now moving up and joining our group, Packard. Geyer now in the white, making a move. Geyer moves into third, comes up on Blade. Blade responds, they're both coming up on Kalanen, and Geyer not leaving it to go. Here we go, four girls, all gonna go under five. And here we go with two under to go, Kalanen. In the yellow and black, she's been leading for three laps. Can she hold it? Get her, get her, get her, go! Catch the one in front of you, let's go! Good Packard making the big move. Coming down the stretch. Who will win it? Here we go. 100 meters to go. Coming strong, Blade coming back. Packard and Blade. Packard and Blade, and it will be! The winner, 71-9, Callanan of Peninsula, 454-65, fastest mile in the country this year. Blade, 457-67, second fastest mile in the country this year. And now we have an official, the official finish has Packard is our winner at 454.65, number one in the country. Blade second, 454.67, number two in the country. Callanan, 456.28, number three in the country. Geyer, 458.29, number four in the country. Peck, 500.303, number five in the country in the mile. Batteries, 502.61, number six. And now we come with the faster heat. Here we go. All right, what do we got time for? All right. very good. Outstanding field here. Our girls invitation mile, hip number one from Oaks, Oaks Christian. She is the California State Division IV champion in cross country, Peyton Godsey. And hip number two from Highland of Bakersfield, Central Section Division II champ in cross country, Mia Torresias. Lane three from La Costa Canyon in San Diego. She was second in the, in the state in Division Three. Gianna Lopizo in lane four. Sydney Sundgren, she's a senior. She has a PR of 450 in this event. Alias Hawkins of Newberry Park, hip number five, fourth in the state in cross country. Grace Hutchinson, another one of the Buchanan, Buchanan, state champs in Division One this year. She was second in the state meet. Ella Melli, her teammate, just a sophomore, central section champion last year at 800 at 211.95. And running in lane eight, she is the coal holder of the national record in this event at 433.29, that's for 1600. That is Sadie Englehart of Ventura. Air hip number nine from Buchanan, just a freshman, Taylor Tarasian. Hip 10, Kayla Tasser from J. Sarah. Hip 11, Tiffany Sachs, Newberry Park. Lane 12, Laura Marco. She's run already 448 in this event from Dana Hills. Sierra Cornett, another Buchanan sophomore. Bryn Garcia, 14, hip 14, a sophomore from J. Sarah. Annie Iverson, a sophomore from Dana Hills. And Brooke O'Brien from J. Sarah. Those are our field 16 of the finest milers in the country. Here we go, right to the front. 
right, that's our co-national record holder in this event. Katie Englehart, the state champion in cross country. She was a, a champs All-American. She has PRs of 205 for 1600, 443, and just a couple weeks ago ran 951 for 3200. What depth? She's our early leader. And our looking at both 1600 and 3200s. So officially for high school, the National High School Federation recognizes 1600, but we will get a time on that. And Englehart out well, the Piso from La Costa Canyon in San Diego. This is a very, very fast race, and they are not letting her go. Englehart out front, La Piso right there, Gotzi, Marco, and O'Brien. 66, 66 on the first 400. Gotzi into second, Lapizo on her outside shoulder. Marco tucked in there. In that field, unbelievable. Every girl in that, all 16, 16th runner was through the first 472. That is almost 450 pace, everybody. And Englehart down the back stretch. Gotzi in second. 33 on that. One thirty nine. Now remember we're running sixteen hundred, not eight hundred. Englehart one thirty nine. One of the great runners, one of the great high school athletes in the country right here. Get up, let's hear it. We're gonna have a great last half mile. We could see a new national record. Englehart running well. Here she comes by at eight eighty at two sixteen. Godsey, Lapizo, Marco, and O'Brien. <laughs> Looks like Hutchinson of Buchanan. Buchanan with five girls in this elite field. Down the back stretch. Those of you on the back stretch, let her hear it from you. Give her some help over this last 600. Katie Englehart, our state champion in Division II in cross country, the defending state champion on the track last year at 1,600 meters, 436.67 in the state meet. Her PR equal national record of 433.29. Godsey running well, pushing that pace. Marco right on her shoulder, Lapizo. And Hutchinson moving up well. So we're at 1,200 at 328. Godsey, Marco, here comes Hutchinson moving up well. Lapizo hanging top, O'Brien and Garcia. Oh my! Down the back stretch. You can make a case as the top runner in the country, certainly in the top five in anybody's conversation. Sadie Engelhart down the back stretch. Godsey, Marco, and Hutchinson running great. We got to meet potentially three girls. Those second, third, and fourth right at 440. And Engelhart in the 30s. Here we go. 200 to go. Come on, help her along down there on the high jump apron. Let her hear it. Oh my, here she comes down the back stretch, or down the home stretch. Sadie Englehart of Ventura. We're at 430 right now. Here we go, Englehart. She's going to be our winner. Marco, close it. Got see it, Marco. Engelhardt will be our winner. She'll go 39 for 1600. Gotzi finishing strong. She'll be second. Marco third. Hutchinson fourth. Finishing strong here. Iverson. Here comes Lomelli and her teammate Sundgren right there. And then Sachs. Oh my. We're still not to five minutes yet. Woo! Wow.
So these are now the new national leaders in the mile. Sadie Englehart, the national leader at 441. Peyton Godsey second at 444.13. She will be number two in the country. Marco third, 444.56, number three in the country in the mile. Grace Hutchison, 446.85, number four. Iverson, five, 451.29, fifth in the country. Lomelli, 452.43. Stop if you heard me but say this before, seventh in the country. Sachs, 454.71, eighth. Lopizo, 455.59, ninth. Sierra Cornet. Now these are all mile times. 456.80. Hawkins, 459.28. Torasian, 459.51. Tasser, 459.56. Garcia, 459.60. 14 girls for the full mile, under five minutes. Torsias will be 15th at 501.49. That means she's under five minutes for 1,600 meters. Oh my. See on the finished results there, it says finished results. If you download that app, you can see the finished times for both the 1600 and the full mile that we just ran in those two heats. So here we go. We'll go with the boys rated one varsity 1600. Here we go. I'd like to ask those of you along the rail, Jill, kneel down. Everybody, we got a big crowd, I'd like to see the finish. So if you're along the rail, you can stay there, just kneel down, then you can take your photos, and everybody behind you can see. Thank you so much. Larson, Jubak, Morales, Harry, Laughlin, Hall, Lee, Allegro, Humphrey, Connors, and Morrissey. On the inside right there in the lead from Long Beach Poly, Luke Larson there pushing that pace. 64-5, Harrison Connors in the blue of Crescenta Valley on his outside shoulder. And Sean Allegro of Miracosta in the green and gold. Senior from Miracosta. 
And on the inside, just about everybody right behind him, but still in there, in the goal there, the goal top. Sean Allegro pushing that pace. Looks like Dylan Jubach, the sophomore from Tribuco Hills, and Van Phillip of Santiago, and Connor Harrison there, 210. 65 on that second lap. Jubak on his shoulder. Two forty-two. It's at one thousand meters, and Jubak now taking it out. Dylan Jubak, just a sophomore, decides it's going to go here, and he is moving out. Jubak in the white top and the blue shorts. Th on Tribuco Hills. Moving well. Here comes Phillip up there with Allegro, Connors Harrison, and Jalen Morales of Clovis leading that chase group. 3-14-2. So we certainly are going to be under 420. Dubak moving down the stretch, the back stretch, and open it up. Boy, is he open it up. Get second now, right? Van Villick has moved into second. He's taking control, trying to close that gap. And he is co closing that gap. Jubak and Villick, one, two. Still right there, though, running well from Miracosta Allegro in three. Can he close it with 100 to go? Jubak will come off the turn in the lead. Villick trying to close, and Villick is closing. He is closing big time. Van Billick coming up on the outside. Oh my! What a great finish. He is going to be 417. 62 plus on that last lap. That great close there. Billick 417 49. Jubak 418 70. Connors 422 14. And then Ari from J. Sarah. 422.99. Our youngsters running well here. Laughlin Hall from Summit up in Oregon, 423.01. Humphrey of Redondo, 423.13. Coming on to the track now. This will be the seated boys race. They're going to be jacked up after they saw that 4.15 or 4.16. That time, this is no, they are not. So our boys in the seated race will go at 1,600 meters. on our boys' seated race. Josh Thomas of Chadwick, Jacob Fredericks of Saugus, Dion Gavin of Saugus, Luke Metcalf of St. Francis, Hayden Repayne of Loyola, Griffin Cushion of Tesoro, Cameron Roan of Long Beach Poly, Matthew Kubler of Valley Christian, Alden Morales of J. Sarah, Josh Rosso of Walnut, Weston Brown of Great Oak, and Hayden Owen of St. Francis.
Here we go, boys. Seated. 1600. for the first 200. Griffin Cushion, another sophomore running well here from Tesoro, pushing that early pace. He's on the inside, blue top, the red shorts. Cameron Roan on his outside shoulder, Long Beach Polly. And our boys are slowing down. It looks a little bit after that 30 for that first 200. Metcalf on the inside. Kubler on the outside. We go 30 and then 37 on that second 200. Cushion picking it up a bit. Roan on his outside shoulder. Metcalf on third on the inside. It looks like Gavin of Saugus moving up well. And now we've picked it up. You can see we've strung that pack out. That's Gavin of Saugus there. Cushion right behind him. Roan on his outside shoulder. All right, Gavin, Cushion, Roan, and Metcalf. Hayden Owen there, 211. We went 64, so we picked it up 211. We're back on for those sub 420s. Kevin down the back stretch in the blue of Saugus, the light blue. Cushion in the dark blue of Tesoro Roan in the green of Long Beach Poly. meters and now we're a little quicker than our rated race and we've got some kickers here coming ready for a great last 500 meters so here we go we'll come down the stretch and do a quarter here we go Gavin and Cushion Rome and then Metcalf leading that chase group trying to get up in there here comes Thomas of Chadwick Cushion goes in the lead, Gavin Rowe. Here comes Thomas. Thomas now in fourth. That's our fastest lap so far, 63. Cushion gonna go after it for the full last 400. Cushion out front, Gavin Rowe. Here comes Thomas. Matthew Kubler of Valley Christian making a big move. Coming down the home stretch. Cushion made that lead. And he's been moving up. Josh Thomas. The senior from Chadwick, Josh Thomas, going to be 414, 415. Ron will get second. Cushion will hold on. So every lap got faster, and the last lap, the fastest of all at 61. Thomas, 415, 81. Metcalf, 417, 72. Cushion, 417, 93. And that's 61 on the leaders. So we have to assume that that last lap there had to be somewhere under 60. Great finish by Josh Thomas from Chadwick. 
4-15-81 officially, Roan 4-17-72, Cushion third, 4-17-93, Metcalf 4-17-99, Razzle of Walnut gets up there for fifth, 4-18-84, Morales, J. Sarah 4-19-25, and Henry Payne goes under 4-20 at 4-19-49. Mike, uh, the top one of both of them are at about 40. All right, now we're going mile, right? All right, give us a... Uh... This one's at 80. Okay, I thought it was at 30. Oh, you missed the uh, one on the ground. Yeah, he's the best friend You know, I think... Uh... Here we go, boys. Invitational mile. We will give you this field here. Great field. Evan Noonan of Dana Hills, Garrett Woodruff, his teammate from Dana Hills, Ryan Thomas, Tory Pines, Casey Barber, Westlake, Justin Preachery of Menlo, Braden Seymour, Newberry Park, Benjamin Hughes, San Marino, Anthony Fasthorse of Ventura, Michael Grossman, his teammate from Ventura, and Jeffrey Kinney of Great Oak. Let's go, Sackcore! 30 for the first 200. Braden Seymour, the senior out of Newberry Park, ran 409 just a couple weeks ago. Last year, he was in Florida. He was the 4A state champ at both 1600 and 3200. Ran 859 for 3200, part of that great Newberry Park National Championship team out front. That's him in the all black there, running comfortably. Right behind him, that is Justin Preachery of Menlo, 63. 63 at 440. Fast horse of Ventura moving up into third. Seymour Pretree, fast horse. And Ryan Thomas and Tory Pines on that group there right in fourth. Thomas coming down the home stretch here. Little bumping and grinding there. Here we go. Coming down to Seymour, Retree. Thomas, Fast Horse, Grossman, and Barber. 63 4, 206. All these boys here, they can all close under 60. So how close do we get at 1,200 or 1,320, if you will? Once again, we're timing 1,600 and the full mile. Preachery now moving up on Seymour. And Thomas from Torrey Pines moving up well. 238 at 1K. Seymour in the all-black, Preachery in the yellow on his outside shoulder. Thomas on the inside, and here comes Fast Horse. Fast Horse making a move from Ventura. Fast Horse gonna lead us through. Preachery holding him off. Aha, all right. Six boys, 400 to go. Seymour jumps out. We're at 310 with one 400 meters to go, Preachery, Seymour, Fastor, Thomas. Down the back stretch, Preachery, here comes Seymour, coming back, Fastor right with him, Thomas a step back. Micah Grossman, 
Bass Horse teammate. He's trying to make up ground there. Coming down the back stretch into the final turn. Seymour back in the lead. Bass Horse in second. Thomas in third. Preaching in fourth. Here we go, 100 meters to the championship. Here we go. Seymour, Bass Horse, Thomas. Thomas making a move. Fast horse in third now. Seymour in control. Seymour, he'll be our winner. 407 for 1600. 408 for the mile. Thomas, fast horse. Fifty-eight five. Seymour closes. He is our winner for the full mile. Once again, our new national leader for the mile, Brayden Seymour, fastest time in the mile in the country this year, 408.67. Ryan Thomas, big PR from Torrey Pines, 409.36, number two in the country. Anthony Fasthorst, new PR, 410.16, number three in the country. His teammate, Micah Grossman, 410.80. So Ventura going 410.16, 410.80. Justin Preachy, 4.15.52. Evan Noonan, 6th, 4.17.03. Casey Barber, 4.18.39. Jeff Kinney, 4.18.86. Ricardo Esponda, if you could return back to the packet pickup, your checkbook's still there. Now the 3200s are coming up. Boys, Frost saw 32 seated race. First on the track, they're coming out right now. Sawyer Pilgrims is your early leader in the boys' 32. They come through in about 33 seconds of that first 200. So, looking for a lot of sub tens here on this boys' frost song. Revolution. Eight times around the track for the 32, and we're moving very well here. Got that 72.9 for that opening lap. 
Our leader continues to be Sawyer, excuse me, Herrera of Newberry Park, your leader. Brandon Herrera, your leader. He's from Newberry. Nolan Coplin of Rancho Cucamonga and Brandon Fonseca of Santiago Corona, who appears to have a cheering section. Finding people along the rail, if you could kneel down so the people behind you you can see. Braden Herrera. Von Seca, Santiago in second. Koopman of Rancho Cucamonga, that was a 72-3, 225-3 through one quarter of the race. So we got Herrera, Fonseca, and Koopman, your first three. Desai of Maricosta, currently in fourth. Fonseca now into the lead. Looks like he made a big move on the dark side of the stadium here. Correction, that's Herrera in the lead. The sophomore from Newberry Park, Fonseca. That's a 69-9, so dropping it down, 335-5. Koopman and Herberg. Herberg of West Torrance also up in there. Second from Rancho Cucamonga. Fonseca. Rivers. And Excuse me, uh, Sanger appears to be up there, Madera South, excuse me. But this is Herrera, gap in the field, sophomore from Newberry Park. Behind. 
nice chase pack, but Braden Herrera gap in the field. Rivers of West Torrance, Rubio of Madeira South in third in that chase pack. Just about that 940 pace if Herrera stays even the rest of the way. Here he comes. Big completion of 2,400 meters. That was a 73, so dropped down a little bit. 7-11-5, and Chase Group tightening up here with about eight guys hanging tight there, giving Chase. Bolo and Madeira South. And we'll be coming to the bell here. Saw 32 next up on the track. Outstanding field. From many of the elite programs in the state. Run some of them 
Find you as the race starts. Looking to see the actual entries here momentarily. Track 32 at Buchanan High School here at 1618 to Woodward Park, and he was first in the Frost Song Focus Invitational. 31 at the 200 meters. Yeah. Andrea Salinas is leader, Geyer in second. Salinas was on 4.35, 9.32 in the Don Green, and he ran 16.37 in the state. You can see him in the traditional Saugus blue in the front end of the race. Comes through very healthy, 65.3. Flores of Glendora in third, he's run 9.55. Reza of Chafee in Ford. He's run 16.09 at Woodward Park for correction. He ran 15.31 at Mount Sac. He's a ball, Mount Baldy League champion in cross country. Geyer, your leader. Flores in second, Salinas in third. Flores of Glendora. This is Geyer, Jansen Geyer, Buchanan. And Flores and Reza. That was 70, 215, seven. So, run center and he's all around will be a 920 area. Reza in third. Lecky uh, Palisades in the city. He's run 935. He was seventh in the LA City Cross Country Championships this year. Now in the lead. Reza in second. And Lecky in third. Correction, Geyer still leading. Geyer, Flores, Reza, Lewicki. But this is a freshman from Buchanan. He's run 929 already this year. 3.29, eight, still under that 9.20 place. That was, however, 74. Cross off record set last year by Landon Petrie. He ran 9.14 and change. Jensen, Geyer, of Buchanan is the leader. Flores in second. Reza. Lecky. Here's 
starting to heat up. Hunter, Danny Hills now up in that lead group. That was a 76, a slow down, 446, just over that 930 pace. Now stepping out a little bit, Jensen Geyer trying to stretch the field, putting in a little shit surge, and looks like the crowd is coming with him. Reza Chafee looks like he's moved into second. Flores in third. Lecky up there. And Oliver Hunter of the Dolphins of Dana Hill. Come on, Dolphins. And we're packing back up here as we're coming to the 2,000 meter mark. Everybody's back in it now. We're out to lane three. You call the leader. And, and Aaron Jensen Clemente and Hunter from Dana Hill. That was a 73-4. 559.9 through 2000, 559.9. That's in that 930 range, mid to high. Harrington, Hunter. Going one, two, but as you saw, everybody was bunched up there, spreading out just a hair. Karen Pavan and Loyola now moving into that lead group. He's had TRs in the eight, 16 and 32 this year. Best of nine, 57, looking to destroy that TR tonight. Here we come to 2,400 meters, and we have a convention coming on as we cross the start-finish line. Geyer back into the lead, 74, 713-9. Luke Sanders Buchanan with him. He's a 10th grader. He's run 157, so he's got finishing speed here. And he's run 4.23.40 already. He ran 15.59 at the Clovis Invitational. Saunders now into the lead. He's from Buchanan. Future looks bright for the Bears. Sanders, Geyer, Buchanan going 1-2 with Harrington, San Clemente, or the who's who cross-country teams in the state of California. Flores now moving up from Glendora. And we're coming to the bell. With Sanders, Flores, Hunter, Harrington, Reza of Chafee up in that top five. That was a 70.5, 6. See how this last lap goes. See if we get under that 930. Hunter now into second. Sanders putting the hammer down. Nine flat right now. That's Luke Sanders. PR is 9.58. I think that'll disappear. Sanders and Hunter and Reza. Sanders, look at his finish, folks. Wow, big time last lap. Sanders. 60.9 to finish. He goes 4, 9, 26, 38. Hunter goes 9, 31, 26. 
Red's on. Red's is 932.93 for fourth. Flores 933.36 for fifth. Rojas was 932.59 for third, the sophomore from Simi Valley. Luke Saunders, 924.38 is number two all time for Frost Sop at the Meet of Champions. <laughs> Next schedule is girls seated. Thirty-two. Races just keep it getting better and better here at the Meet of Champions. Sub 11s here. Be crazy fast. Scarlett Taylor comes in with the top entry time. Danielle Hollander, Beverly Hills had an outstanding cross country season. She's leading early on. Hollander and Jensen going one two. Hollander from Beverly Hills. Heather Jensen, senior from Miracosta. Coming through the first revolution here. Seventy-seven there. Seventy-seven eight. And we've got Mackenzie Kordick in second, but Danielle Hollander, Beverly Hills in the front. Heather Jensen in second. And Kira Potter in third. Hollander, Jensen, Cordick, and Potter. Potter, Canyon of Anaheim. 
Danielle Hollander. The Normans in the lead. 83 there, 241. Five. 25% of the race done here. Girls 32. The lights go up. The track gets scorching fast. Here you go, Sue! Here you go, Sue! That's perfect! Hollander continuing to stretch it out. Looks like Heather Jensen hanging right there in second. Hollander, three laps through, 1,200 meters. That's another 83 being real consistent. 4.05, one. Hollander, Jensen going one, two. Cordette and Potter, as of last report. Cooper Murphy now moving up there into that top three. There you go, Q! There you go, Q! And Cynthia Herrera of Kenyan of Kenyan country. Yeah, Coop, that looks better. Hollander, Jensen, and Cooper Murphy. Now your top three. This will be halfway done when they finish this revolution. This is your leader, Danielle Hollander, moving away from the field. Heather Jensen in second, 82, so drop down a little, 527.9, go under that 11 minute barrier, halfway through. He's around 81s, 82s, the rest of the way. Jensen, Cooper Murphy, here you go, Coop! Luca Pearson, the freshman from Saugus, now stepping into the mix in the top four. Cynthia Herrera and Lucy Peterson also up there. There you go, Cooper. Go with it. Go with it. Peterson more, from the Bay School in San Francisco. Hollander, Jensen, Cooper Murphy, Luca Pearson, Cynthia Herrera, and Lucy Peterson. But this is Hollander. She'll be done with. 2,000 meters, have a 1,200 to go. Staying right there at 82, 83. This one just up a little bit, 84, 6, 52, 4. Now, Luca Pearson moving into second. Hollander. <laughs> Luke Pearson. 
in second now. Hollander still the leader. Yeah, Coop! Yeah, Coop! That was the move! That was the move! Right at 11 flat pace for Hollander through 2000. Hollander, Pearson, as we'll be coming at 2,400 meters here. Here comes your leader, Chase Pack, being led by, looks like, Pearson. That was an 87, 819, so dipping over that sub-11 pace. Eight hundred meters to go for the leader. Less than eight hundred. There you go, Cooper. Pearson in second. There you go, Jensen Coop. in third. There you go, Coop. Start winding up. <laughs> and Cooper Murphy also yeah, up with that yeah, chase pack. Coming to the bell, their leader, Danielle Hollander. That was an 86, 946, two. Pearson in second is moving up. The freshman from Saugus. 10.05 right now. Pearson going after Hollander. There you go, Cooper! Hollander, 250 meters to go. Pearson in second. Finish, go! Don't wait! Don't wait! 1032 with 200 meters to go left in that. Here comes Pearson, Hollander, coming on the home stretch. Pearson giving chase. Hollander, 1050. Pearson in second. Hollander, Pearson. Here comes Pearson. Hollander finishing strong. 81 seconds for that last lap. Jensen in third. Murphy in fourth, but let's give you the official times here. Hollander 1107.98. Pearson 1108.98. Jensen 1114.34. Murphy 1115.77. Cossack Menlo School 1118.44. Lucy Peterson from the Bay School of San Francisco, 11-26-61. Mackenzie Cordick of Palos Verdes, 11-27-67. Winner, Danielle Hollander, Beverly Hills, 11-07-98.
Here we go. And a chit net of uh, Maricosa. She's run 457, 1037, 50. PRs here last year. She was fourth in Masters, eighth in the state, and at 32, she was second in Southern Sex in cross country, second in the state in cross country, 1732 at Woodward Park. And she was an NXN national qualifier. This is her at the front, leading the group around. Looks like Denise Chang in second. That was a 76. Chang Chen from Claremont was fifth in Division II, 1600. She was a Masters Meet qualifier in the 32. She has the best of 10.45.18 here last year, 4.58.39 in CIF prelim. She was seventh in Southern Section Cross Country. <laughs> Chinman, Leighton, Chen in second. And Buckley of Buchanan, the freshman. 505.09 PR. She was, this is her first high school, 32. She was a central section cross country champion, 11th in the state on the state's number one team. She ran 1736 at Woodward Park, NXN qualifier. Chittenden came through at 76 in that first one, but everybody's joined her now. That's video of Redondo in second right now in the red. 11 79 here last year. She was fifth in Southern Section cross country. So we go Chittenden, video, Buckley, your first three. That was 239.3 through two laps. That was 82.9, so slow down that second lap. Right at that 1040 pace right now. Buckley now up there. And Erica Kurt, Vista Marietta. She was the Inland Empire champ last year with a PR of 1120. Looking to shatter that today. She was ninth in Southern Section Cross Country, 19th in the state. Chin in on the inside. Fedio on her shoulder and Chen now moving on the outside also. So three across. 83 slowed down just a little bit. That's 402. Four with Chittenden, Chen, and video one, one, and one. Chittenden, Chen, video, and Kurt. 
your first four. Chen now into the lead. Chen did. And Janelle Abelin of Etta Wanda moving up there. She's run 429 for 1500 to win the Winter Classic. She's also running 214 800 this year. <laughs> Chen. And Abby lives on the outside there. And Chinden on the inside. That was an 81, so dropped down just a hair. 522. Nine. Chen, Abilas, Chittenden. Just off the back of that group, but we're running a tight pack. Lots of good finishing speed with all these girls. That was a coming down, that was a 119 to 4, 642, so in that low 1040 range right now. Chen doing the work out front, Chittenden and Amelis. Right there, sitting tight. Chittenden pushing from the inside. That was an 81, so slow down just a hair. 803 with two laps to go. Chen. Avalez now into the lead. Avalez. Avalez with that 214, 800 speed, making a move here. Chen and Chen had gone 2 3, but Janelle Avalez pushing early here. Coming to the bell. Opened up a gap. Avalez. Drop that down. That was a 76 six. Nine nineteen seven. Ten thirty right now. 
and Janelle Avila is moving. 1040. She ran 76 on that last lap, 1045. She's got 200 meters to go, 1053. Excuse me, 953. Avila is now Chittenden into second, but Avila is 15 right now. 10-20. Outstanding performance here for the senior from Etiwanda, the Eagle, bringing home the victory. Just over that 10-30, 73 on that last lap. Chittenden, 10-40 right now. And Chen with video. Avalez, 10.32.85 to win. Number 16 all time here at the Meet of Champions. But don't go home early, we still got three more 32s. to the fans on the rails if you can move back to the first row or kneel down the people behind you would greatly appreciate it folks standing on the rail again if you could kneel down or move to the first row especially if you're near the start and finish line it'd be greatly appreciated by the fans behind you here we go Boys, rated at 32 entry times from 9.15 to 9.49 in this seat. Grand Sadak, your early leader, coming down from the central section. Vicente, Rizzo, Junior of Cajon, your leader. Oh, 
going to Frank. Grant Zetak. And Andrew Martin now up in the front end. Laps 1200 meters. Owen Frank continue to lead. Grant Satek and Andrew Perez now in third. Usually a little break in the race. Between three and a half and four and a half. See him pick it up just to hear. 71. Great race here. Lots of people in it. South, that's a 71 9, 444, 445. So, right at 9 30 pace, they stay even the rest of the way.
as we're coming at 2,400 meters. That was a 71, 703, 9. Divine and Seatang. Gap in the field a little bit. Same two guys, 16, 15. Coming around, dark side. See him coming out here just momentarily, and they're together with Divine and Sitek. Stepping out together. They're coming to the bell. Central section trying to join the parade up front. We're at 850, and they have less than 150 meters to go. We're at nine minutes right now. Seatac, the leader now, coming down the home stretch. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Great finishes here. Twenty-nine, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. Five two on that last lap, maybe a little faster for our winner. Seatag nine twenty one fifty eight. <laughs> Second to last race of the day, but we may see it start again. Right my sight line, if you pull off a little bit that way. You're right my sight line, I can't see when I come down. I'm gonna go farther down. Yeah, I'm gonna go farther down that way. I was like, this is a scrap right here. I knew that was a long time ago. Oh, it was a long time ago. 
Have a restart here, just a moment. Second attempt at the boys. Seated 32. Ramon Lopez, please report to the announcer's booth, please. Ramon Lopez, please report to the announcer's booth. Weston Brown, your early leader. Weston Brown, the sophomore from Great Oak, taking the boys through the paces. Jordan Myers now moving up. He's also from Great Oak. Nathaniel Wilkinson of Hart, also up there. Looks like Weston Brown, Jordan Myers, and Nathaniel Wilkinson. Weston Brown and his teammate Jordan Myers going one, two. That was a 69, so we're at 212 at the 800, 212 2. Like Henry Hamill and the Ventura has also moved into that lead group. But it looks like just about everybody is in that lead group. Adrian Eppolito of uh, St. John, excuse me, of Madeira South. Also up in the lead pack. But from the gun, it's been Weston Brown. That was a 72, slowed down just a hair. 325 flat. Henry Hamill Ventura in that lead group. Paul. Gunning of Harden now on in there. Right, 
Weston Brown. Jordan Myers. Kind of doing the flying V up here as we have wedging out there. Four three seven five over the seventy two five. And Weston Brown continuing to be the front end of that. V at the front. Juan Santaka. Now from San Clemente has moved up, also in that lead group. Weston Brown, Paul Magani, and Adrian Napolito. Up front, but again, we're pretty well connected here as we come to 2,000 meters. Moving on the outside is Magani. 72, 549, five. Magani now into the lead. But Weston Brown staying right there. And Adrian. Polito also hanging right in there. Weston Brown back into the lead. Been pushing the pace the entire time from the front. Magani ain't staying right there. And Hippolito right behind. 71-5. Seven flat. Right now, seven flat, 701. At 24. That's uh, right at that 920 range. Now, Caleb McDaniel of Mission Viejo. Weston Brown back in the lead. 500 meters to go. Weston Brown. And Kayla McDaniel now in the lead. That was a 68 4. We're under that 920 pace. Daniel of Mission Viejo trying to take over now. 835. But Weston Brown back up there. Brown making a big move. Weston Brown, 150 meters to go. Daniel McDaniel's giving chase. Weston Brown, the sophomore. From Great Oak, McDaniel trying to come back. Brown, McDaniel, but it'll be Weston Brown. Looks like taking home in 
9 0, -oh, maybe right at 9 10, right 11. 61, 7. We're just at 9 15, 9 17, 18, 9 20 right now. 22, 23, 24. Special thank you to all the folks at Azusa Pacific University, Coach Sean Smith and all his distance runners who work today. <laughs> Special thank you to Brian Ake of Royal High School and all the athletes from Royal. Coach Fernando Cabrera at Chafee High School. Great meet. Those folks have been here for almost 18 hours today, and we're starting our last race within one minute of the time schedule. So great job to everybody on your way out. If you see one of those folks, maybe just a high five. And thank you for all this great work you put on today. Clovis West, Timberwolves. He'd run 52 81, 156 07, 4 12, 26, 9 this year. He's the Central Section Division 1, 3,200 chance. He ran 905 at the state meet last year for 10th place. He was 7th in the state meet across the country. He's wearing hip number 2. Now, Dossie of. Uh, Newberry Park, run 9.33, 39 for the full two miles this year at the New Balance Indoor, part of the incredible Newberry Park cross country team. But it's Great Oak taking it out here. That's Austin Elkins of Great Oak. He's run 4.15 last weekend, 9.15 at Rondondo, and he was an NXN 
national qualifier in cross country. He's taken the group through their paces. cross-country champion. He was ninth in the state meet. That was a 68. 67th is right at that sub nine minute pace. 211. One. Through the first 800. 25% of the race. Donis pulling it, pulling it, sprawling. 429 one, so we're under that nine minute. And this level athlete usually negative splits it. That was a 68 on the nose. Donis taking the lead and pulling the pack through. Sprawling up there, Perez up there. Morgenfeld of Palo Alto is also up there. Perez up with that lead group. Morgenfeld and Donis with Sprawling and Perez. Michael Sanchez, Micah Sanchez, the San Diego section 1600 meter champion, also state champion division five, is also up there. That was a 67. We're under the nine minute pace. Through 2,000 meters. Let's help these boys along, get them under that nine minute mark. Perez now up to third. He's from Cathedral. He ran 409.27 at sound running to win that 
just a couple weeks ago. He was third in the Division Three, 32 last year. He was a state Division Four champ in cross country, and he was an NXN national qualifier. So we've got an outstanding group up front. Donis. Bazar Canyon is in fifth. Billy Isa up there with another 67. 643. We're under that nine minute pace with 800 meters to go. Crazy crack crowd up at the front end of this, and it's the who's who of distance runners here. Here we go. Five hundred meters to go. Donis. Perez, Spalding, and Morganfeld at the bell. That was a 66, 9, 7.49. And Donis is moving, a flat right now. Donis, Spalding, Perez, Morganfeld, and looks like Bazar Canyon. And then Isa. Donis, Spalding making a move. Spalding. 820 with 200 meters to go. Help these boys along. Meet records 855. We're at 830. Held by Ryan Hall. So 840. Bradley. That's rolling. New meet record. 61-6. Sprawling, the winner. Fastest time in the country right here. 8.51. We're at 8.57 for Ford. 8.57 for fifth. 9.01 for seventh. That was a pretty good way to close tonight's week. Being here crazy fast, finishing at 16-1. 13th was 9.05.99. Jonah Billings shatters the foothill record with 9.08.29. Sixteen guys under 9.10, sprawling 9.51, 8.51. 62 missed the other ones. You can see them all on. Donna's the number two in the country. So one and two right here. You saw it. Not a bad night here. If you didn't get that t-shirt, they're still up. I get one sprawling. Donna's 852.91. Morganville, 856, 31. Bazar Canyon, 857, 67. Perez, also under nine. Woo! Pretty good day here at the Azusa Meet of Champions. Thanks very much for attending. It would be greatly appreciated if you cleaned up around your area, dropped it in the trash can on the way out. And thanks so much for the support for the athletes today. You helped to make crazy fast times here at the Azusa Meet of Champions.